Hello Cancers, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Cancers this week? Okay, firstly you have the Queen of Swords, then the Lovers and the Seven of Wands fell out with the Four of Pentacles. Oh, Page of Pentacles, sorry. So, that was fast. And the Chariot on the bottom, which is your card, Cancer. So that's nice. You are definitely showing up in your own reading, which is good. You're feeling like yourself. You're not feeling like you've got to pretend to be anybody but you to fit in. You are you. Um, I don't know why I felt like saying that. It's just something prominent right now coming to me. Then you have Queen of Swords, firstly. Um, Queen of Swords is, you're feeling a lot smarter than you usually do. So you could usually be kind of like the funny friend or the person that just doesn't really care about how intelligent you are. And it's just not a priority. You, you'd rather be the kind funny one. However, this week, you're smart. There's something where either you're playing things very smartly or... Other people are for some reason noticing your intelligence and your a bit of a smarty pants. You're a bit of a smarty pants to other people at least. People are kind of picking up on um, your wit or your intelligence a lot more. And I don't know if you're meaning to let on how smart you are, but other people are noticing it for some reason. So something you're doing is catching people's eye or something you're saying is making people look at you maybe a bit different or pay more attention and give you more credit for some reason. Then you have the lovers card so this is really nice. The lovers used to be called the choice card. A lot of people feel the need to say this every time. I only bring it up sometimes but it's coming out today so there is something where you could find yourself with a choice um, between love, between work, between this person and that career and you want to be with them but then you have to travel to here and it's long just there's something where there's like a either a big choice to make or it's just very prominent your love life this week it almost feels like um as i'm looking at this a little bit like a cliche like chick flick or a movie there's something playing out where you're like this doesn't happen in real life what's going on this isn't this isn't real life is it this is a bit dramatic, it's a bit, okay? Like there's something where um, there's a bit, a bit of drama maybe around your uh, romantic life this week. And then you have Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is um, fortifying for some reason, that word's coming through. So it's not necessarily, um, sometimes I say this is like a defensive card and that it's a, a little bit like um, a protectiveness. But also I'm just getting you fortifying, whether that be your home, whether that be your um, car, your van, whatever you call your home, I guess that'd still be your home. Um, but you're somehow reinforcing or protecting your world. It doesn't just seem like your physical world, it could also be you fortifying your energy and kind of putting um, a force field around you energetically if people have been affecting you, if people have been, um, if it's been taking like an an energetic toll on you when you're around certain people you can kind of tell you're drained or you're tired or you're sad when you weren't sad before. There's something where you're going to start to kind of protect yourself beforehand if that makes sense. You're like oh my gosh I've got to see Alfred today. Alfred makes me so stressed because I'm picking up on his stress. So before I see Alfred, I'm just gonna put an energetic bubble around me so nothing that he says or does or feels can get to me because I am protected. Um, it doesn't have to be an energetic bubble or first field, it could also just be um, like energetic armor. You could just um, visualize yourself wearing like proper metal armor or something. But whatever it is, it's more about the preconceived subconscious idea of it rather than the aftermath of you going oh I let him bother me again I let him get to me again um but yeah it's like a pre 
it's all about like the preparingness the preparingness that's a word now apparently uh, then you have the page of pentacles there is some type of opportunity you're going to be handed I don't know if you're going to accept it this is around work this is around job or money or income there's something where it's like cancer I want you to work with me cancer I want you to do this cancer can I hire you to do this and then they say get back to me soon and they walk away because I feel as if whatever it's about you're left to ponder you're left to think so there might not be a time limit on it or if there is you're given time to feel into whether this is something that suits you or not which is really good but also sometimes when people give you a lot of time to think into something you're then unaware of what you want if that makes sense um whereas if i said pick one in the next five seconds you got five seconds pick one you pick one whereas if it's like take your time pick one no rush you're then like huh I don't know like there's something where you're left to ponder you're just left sitting there looking at something someone's offering and you're not sure you're like huh hmm? so that's interesting I'm gonna clarify the Queen of Swords for you you have the five of swords with the Queen of Swords hmm you are for some reason causing stress to others which for some reason I'm laughing about for some reason that makes me kind of happy um, which is a little bit toxic. I just felt something bite to my foot. So I'm hoping it was not the spider. If you watched any of my other videos, there was a spider running around and that like stressing me out. Anyways, but notice I would never usually bring that up. And I just feel as if that spider bite that I just felt could have been like a psychic one. Very well could have been. With the five of swords, you're niggling or biting someone the idea of you being a lot smarter than they realised, being a lot more, your head's a lot sc more screwed on than they give you credit for or something. Um, hmm. Especially if you have a career that's not necessarily, um, how do I put it, it's not necessarily one that people would relate to intelligence. So whether that be you are a model, whether that be you're a, a photographer, or whether you're a, a artist or a creative in some way, it's something where um, oftentimes your intelligence is put on the back burner or people don't care, people don't really need to notice it, so you don't need to show it. And then it shines through this week and it's niggling at someone. They're like, oh, cancer? I thought they were like a... I didn't know we were this smart. They didn't. Are you sure? They sound so smart suddenly. But I, I kind of had them pegged as like a, as a bimbo. Huh. Like there's something where it's bothering someone that they either underestimated you or it's bothering them that they didn't. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's quite negative for me to still be talking about this. So this is interesting. Maybe this is going to be, um... Hmm, I mean this is going to be quite a good feeling because I did say when that spider bit me this feels quite good like whatever this is it's maybe this has been a long time coming of someone underestimating you that you wanted it to impress or that you wanted to see your value or your intelligence and then finally you've let go of it you don't care you've moved on and they're gonna like too little too late go oh cancer cancer's quite like it's gonna be just like a delayed a delayed thing of realizing you and noticing your true energy like they just didn't see you for who you were or something and now they're going to but again this seems negative because it feels like it's in the past but it could come back around or this could be someone that resurfaces this week and you kind of go what are you doing here what are you doing what do you want now like i don't know it's just too little too late basically but why am i still talking about it hmm clarify the lovers card have the ten of wands moving on right there's something about you moving forward moving letting go of what is not for you like whatever that person whoever that person is that is resurfacing or trying to you're not bothered in the slightest but it could just be for some reason for that to show up could just be you being kind of proud of yourself for not letting someone deter or distract you from your current path because they're from paths ago they're from paths ago when you had a different 
um, life or a different journey ahead of you. You're now on a completely different track and you're not going to let someone distract you or sway you away from your current goal, which I really like. Um, Seven of Pentacles with the Lovers, there's something where it's like um, patience. There's something around patience and love for you. So um, somebody, again, because I said there's something kind of dramatic or overly like cliche or something about your romantic life this week and it could be somebody kind of saying with the seven of pentacles i'll wait for you because seven of pentacles are all about waiting and being willing to wait for the um right match or for the right thing and so someone is kind of could come about that someone's like i'll wait for you i'm not bothered like there's a very um strong statement there of like oh you're gone for 10 months i'm not bothered i will wait for you. I, I don't care where in the world you are, I'll wait for you and there's just something really nice about someone being sure about you. And if you're already in a long term relationship, obviously that's the way, but it's just, hmm, it might just be kind of surprising somebody's commitment to you in some way. It's going to be a refreshing energy of them expressing that if they don't usually. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Two of Cups. So Two of Cups is all about soulmates, love, romance, and it doesn't have to be love and romance, but it's just love and a soulmate, maybe on a platonic sense. Also, it's not necessarily romantic, but I did mention that as I was telling you about it, so it could very well be. Um, but there's love felt, basically, between two souls, and so with the Seven of Wands here, of me saying you protecting yourself, this could also be you protecting yourself within a certain relationship with someone around you where you you're just kind of putting on some armor if you are usually very open with this person for some reason this week you're feeling the need to shield up or um prepare yourself hmm whatever that's about some of you it could be you being very open and you wear your heart on your sleeve and suddenly you're a little bit more protective of what you're feeling for some reason this week. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. So, Eight of Pentacles is all about work. So I said with the Page of Pentacles there's an opportunity coming in for you in work of like, you might ponder it for a little too long and then question what you want to do. And then with the Eight of Pentacles you're working. So, you're obviously going to choose to take this, this thing you're being offered for a lot of you, use your own intuition, don't take it just because I've said obviously, not that you would listen to me that, certainly, but um, with the eight of pentacles you are finding yourself booked and busy, so you are taking on an opportunity, a lot of you, that is new, after taking a lot of time to consider it first, which is really cool, you've really, you've felt your way into it, you know it's for you, you've not, um, I don't know why I wanted to say don't chicken out, which is really not in my character to say, but don't chicken out. If there's something you want to do, if you're given a lot of time to ponder it, you could then have a lot of time for um, worry or worst case scenarios to fester. So I feel really cool to say, if you have given yourself a lot of time to decide something, please think best case scenario as well. Don't just think worst case scenario, think best case scenario, because I don't want you to chicken out of a really cool opportunity that's coming in. It's meant for you for a reason, it's coming in for a reason. Even if it's scary or out of your comfort zone, don't check it out. If you want it, you can have it. I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tall Tarot Tuesdays.